Hello, hello, and happy Fun Folk Friday, everyone. Oh my gosh, oh, let me turn my fan off so that noise doesn't bother us. Okay, so I have a trifold for you today. Um, this trifold's different though. I've not seen it before. Uh, Lisa Curcio, um, I, she did it. And so I'm going to do a little bit, uh, I'm making mine a little different, of course, but um, I'm excited to show this to you. Now, I will have the measurements down here on the bottom of the screen, but also on my blog. Okay, let me put this up there. All of the measurements will be on my blog later today, creatingwithchristina.com. Now, sometimes live gets in the way. As soon as this is over, I have quite a few things I do on Friday, but um, I try to get that up. But it, inevitably, sometimes it's the weekend. But you can always come back and rewind the replay and write down the measurements because I do have them at the bottom of the screen as I create the card. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm just loving everything right now. Hey, Vicki, we started our new spring catalog yesterday. We call it the mini January to April catalog. That means it's only available for these four months. But the exciting part is January and February, we have this amazing sale going on. So if you've not heard about Stampin' Up's sale abrasion, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about it while I'm making the card. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Here we go. We've got um, Chris and Melissa, Sherry and Teresa and Christine. Good morning, you guys. Thank you so much for showing up and following along live. It's so fun to talk with all of you. Now, remember, if you have a question, uh, put a question mark or a uh, a big cue, something to get my attention because the net, the the comments over here on the side, sometimes I miss the questions. Okay. Um, for those of you who are new, I have quite a few new uh, newsletter subscribers. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, my name's Christina Reese, and I love coming live and sharing card tutorials with you all. Monday nights, I do a... Um, Monday night stamping, 7.30, Monday night central time. Then on Wednesdays, I always do a card challenge, and that is at 9.30 a.m. on Wednesdays. And then on Fridays, I always do a fun fold, and I try to bring new fun folds that, um, at least they're new to me. I don't know if they're new to you, but um, but I just love, and I just have so much fun sharing all of this with you. Okay. Oh, hello, Sally from the UK. Love it, love it. All right, let's go ahead and... Um, and go ahead and get started. All right. So I'm going to move this to this view here. No, no, no. This view here. Yeah. And move my desktop over. All right. And um, the first thing, and then of course my comment, my need the measurements. The first one is our base. Now this base, and I also have some post-it notes on here to help you see better. But this base is cut at four and a quarter by 11. Okay, four and a quarter by 11. But it needs to be scored quite a few different places. So I'm going to move this little post-it note over here. And you can see there at the bottom of the screen, we are, and get your cutting blade out of the way. All right. Um, two and a half is our first score mark. Okay, so we're just going to make this little accordion. Pretty simple. Three and three quarters. All right. I need to open up my arm. So we're going to go all the way. Um, then six and three quarters. So that's right there. And finally, eight and a quarter. All right. And like I said, if um, you didn't get these measurements written down, you can do the replay and rewind and get them there or wait until I finish <laughs> my blog post and um, you can get them there. So here we go. We've got our card base and the way this folds is we have, okay, this is going to go down and up. All right. So down is that right? Yeah. I'm following the picture uh, back behind me. And then, yeah, down. Is that right? Oh, gosh. Yeah, down and up. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So it does this. There we go. So we have a trifold. See how cute that is? It's a pretty trifold. And trifolds are fun the way they are, but this one has a little extra to it. So I can't wait to share that with you. Let me get my bone folder out. So it'll lay a little more flat. There we go. 
flip it over and get this back part. There we go. That that works. Okay, so we have our, our base trifold. The next thing we're going to do, and this is where it's different, okay, you guys, is on our top piece. So this piece right here, we are going to stick um, two pieces. We've got the cardstock that matches... Okay, so that's going to go like that. And then a DSP that goes that layers on top. Now, you want to make sure that when you're attaching that, that you don't attach it here because you don't want it to stick to the to the base. Okay, so let me get out some glue and I'm just going to put some glue on here. All right, let me go back to my comments. Awesome. Awesome. Hello, Joni. Oh, thank you for my festive nails. Only thing is this one fell off. I'm getting new nails done this afternoon. I went to Disney right before Christmas <laughs> and they've, uh, they only last about two weeks. Hey, Jeanette. Hello. How are you? And Joni Hildenell. Hello. And Georgina. Love it. Georgina's from the UK also. Um, so this is a four by four. So just stick that on there and kind of, um, uh, whoops get it even. There we go. Okay. Four by four. And then this one's cut down an eighth inch smaller. So you're barely going to have any of the card base showing with this. So let me uh, put some glue on here or tape runner. Tape runner works also. Um, I tend to use glue more often, but that's okay. So just a wee bit of that four by four is gonna be sticking out. There we go, love that. All right, so that's our top. Now we need the middle, okay? And I'm just gonna flip the top back so I can work on the middle section right here. Same exact thing, okay? Same exact thing, except I'm switching my DSP. Oh, I wanted to share that with you. Okay, quick, quick stop. Um, our DSP that I am using is from this beautiful country floral lane uh, suite. And we have two different DSPs. One's the country floral, and I'm using this piece right here. And then we have the country gingham. Oh my gosh, I love gingham. And we are using this, the littler gingham down here. Okay, I think so. Let me double check. Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I mess up? Oh, gosh. Hold on. No, no, I didn't. Oh, phew. My brain went dead there for a minute. Okay, so this piece is the country gingham, and this is the country uh, floral. Okay, so one's country gingham and one's country floral. All right, there we go. So let me put that back. So I love our new catalog. Oh, also, if you do not have a catalog, let me... Put that up there. If you do not have a catalog and you need one and uh, you'd like me to send you one, please send me an email, uh, creatingwithchristina.com. So Christina at creatingwithchristina.com. That is my email. That is the best way to get a hold of me, to, to communicate with me. Um, and just tell me you need a catalog and I will send you one. Now, I do ask that you please order from me if you ask for a catalog. I love giving them away complimentary, but um, <laughs> I mean, I am trying to run a business too. But <laughs> anyways, um, yes. So, but I, I love to give the catalogs away. Um, they're beautiful catalogs. They've got great stamping ideas in them. And I think it's much easier to flip through a catalog and decide what I want than to try to do the computer. The computer is kind of difficult to see what you want. First of all, it's small. And um, anyways, okay, so here we go. How do you like it so far? Isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to decorate this. You all are going to love what I do with this. All right, let me get all these guys out of the way. So that was top and bottom, and they were the same. Let me put that back up there. So the top was... Uh, four inch square cardstock and then a three and seven eighths inch DSP. And then the middle was a four inch cardstock and a three and seven eighths DSP. 
Okay. So those were exactly the same. I just used different DSP. Now we need to do the bottom. Okay. Now the bottom does not have the designer series paper. The designer, uh, the bottom is going to have your white piece for you to put a message, but, and I'm using a different colored cardstock also. All right. Instead of the sweet sorbet here, I'm using the petal pink. So I'm going to put some glue on here and it does not overlap. Okay. It stays in the section. Okay. So let me twist this this way. Here we go. And that just fits in there beautifully. Okay. And then the white, and you may want to stamp and decorate your white first and then stick it on there just in case you make a mistake. But, um, yeah. I like living on the edge. <laughs> okay. Plus it's faster when I'm doing this online for you guys. All right. So there we go. There is our new way and see how that covers that up. So, and then it opens up and you can see the message. Okay. All right. Let's decorate this. I'm so excited to show you. So I've shown you the mini catalog, but this is called the celebration. Oh, let me put the bottom. Yeah, I've got the bottom measurements there. Okay. Celebration, this little brochure that when you ask for the catalog, I will send you the brochure also. And this brochure is only good for January and February. Okay. Oh, and also while supplies last, because this is free stuff. Oh my gosh. And the very first one is this adorable owls. All right. So to get this free stamp set, all you have to do is spend $50. And also look up here. When you put in my host code with your $50 order, I am also going to send you a nice thank you gift at the end of the month. Okay. So, and you get this uh, free stamp set. So adorable owls. Now I already started stamping and coloring. I tried to get these done before I started, but I ran out of time. Come back to my comments. All right. Oh, Hilda Nell says she likes her Mickey Minnie nail, my Mickey Minnie nails also. Thank you. <laughs> and Brenda says hello from North Dakota. All right. I don't see any. Oh, question. Here we go. Katie Lay, Lay says, do you line up the four by four exactly? No, it will. Good question, Katie. Let me get that out again. And I don't know. I'm going to zoom in and see how close you can see. So the four by four, this is a four and a quarter here. So the four has like a little layer. Great question, Katie. Thank you so much for asking that. All right, now let me zoom back out. Come on. Uh, whoop, not that much. There we go. All right, so I'm playing with my owls and I was trying to color my owls the way they colored them, but the more I look at it, I realized they used the colored pencils and I'd already started with the blends. So um, I started with petal pink, okay? And I tried to do the petal pink there. And then I came in with the soft suede um, and I outlined, I was in the middle of outlining his feathers with the dark, and then I'm going to go in with the light. So this is the soft suede. Oh my goodness. So tell me, you guys, um, would you, do you like the alcohol blends or the watercolor pencils better? Who likes coloring with watercolor? Who likes coloring with alcohol? I am kind of um, partial to both. It kind of depends on my project, but um, I do tend to pick up the alcohol markers first. Um, all right, we got that in there. Now I need the light and I'm going to blend. And these are called Stampin' Blends because the alcohol, what the alcohol does is it um, bleeds the two colors together. And as it dries, it leaves a beautiful blended there's not a sharp, harsh line where the two colors meet. Okay. Um, and oh. I think I forgot the wings up there. I sure did. Okay. Let me go back. There we go. Yeah. I really wish I had done this before. Um, I had recorded because I'm going to have to fussy cut these now. We do not have dies to cut these cute owls out, but I need them cut out for my project. Okay. His little beak and his feet. We're going to do the pumpkin pie. I haven't decided if I want light or dark. So that's the light and that's the dark. Yeah, we'll go dark. Okay. 
And his wee little feet. So cute. Okay, those are going to be fun to fussy cut. Yikes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, don't... Oops, I missed these... Uh, yikes, this um, wing over here. Okay. There we go. All right. So now, oh, in his eyes, um, I'm going with mint macron because that's the color in the suite. All right. What do we have? We have lots of uh, answers to the question. Um, where are you from, please? And do you deliver to UK? Okay. Sally Owen. Sally, there are UK demonstrators for Stampin' Up. This company is called Stampin' Up, S T A M. I in apostrophe UP exclamation point. And what you'll need to do is type in Stampin' Up UK, all right, and then find a demonstrator. So Stampin' Up is sold direct sales. That means you have to buy from a demonstrator. There are no um, sub stores that sell Stampin' Up product. And no, I'm sorry, I cannot ship to the UK. Um, we are tied to our own region. So I only sell to the United States. I'm here in Texas in the United States. So thank you for asking that question. And there are lots of wonderful UK demonstrators. So, all right. And Elizabeth says alcohol. Chris says watercolor. Christine says, I like watercolor and pencils more. Yep. Tony says she loves coloring with the blends, but we'll do colored pencils with the blender pencil. Yeah, I, there's a blender pen for the colored pencil. Donna says pencils. Brenda, alcohol. Katie says alcohol. Sally says Sharpie pens. Oh, my goodness. Um, I don't. Uh, Sharpie is the same. Uh, Sharpie is an alcohol based marker. So very good. Uh, we just these are stamping up alcohol markers. All right, here we go. Now, uh, his little eyes. And that was the other thing I hadn't decided. Do I want the light? Probably the light or the dark. Oh, you can barely tell the difference. All right, we'll go with light. All right, so I'm just going to color his little eyes. Now, that little dot right there, that's kind of like a highlight. So I'm just going to leave that white. So it looks, you know how you get the little flash from the camera? Yeah. Kind of gives it a little dimension. There we go. There. Okay. Our cute little owls. Now I need to fussy cut. Oh, yay. How exciting. <laughs> You'll get to watch me cut owls out. But you're going to love this card. It's going to turn out so cute. And like I said, these owls are free um, with a $50 purchase. Um, and how that works, let me explain something to you. As you go, so you do order online. And you type in the item number, product numbers into the products you want to purchase. Then once you've finished, underneath the merchandise section, it'll pop up celebration. And it will not let you continue to check out until you have chosen your celebration items. Now, um, like I said, if you don't know what the celebration items are, um, the website has a section. I would, before I start my order, go ahead and write down what you want. And that way, when you're filling out, you don't have to look up numbers or things. You can just type it all in at once after you've written it down on paper. That's how I do it. Um, people are different. Um, the computer does save. So if like you don't finish your order, when you come back, it'll still be there. It, it saves your uh, stuff in your um, shopping cart. It'll save it there. So that's nice. Um, so that, 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 I can't think of anything else. All right. With celebration though, there are two more things I want to tell you about. Now I'm going to go into more details on these later, maybe this weekend. But first of all is when you order $150 worth of product, now you can do that all yourself or you could get some friends together and put an order in. But um, there are some items in the back called host only products. And um, let me pull out 
Oh, yeah, here it is. Host only. So in the back of the catalog here on the very last page, there are two things you can get that only if you go over 150 and you have to use your stamp and rewards to purchase it. You can't purchase it just regular. And that is this amazing paper. OK, and it's called Flowers and More and it's 48 12 by 12 sheets. OK, for $18, but it's host reward $18. So you have to earn $18. Once you go over $150, you start getting 10% of your sale in free product. So at $150, you're getting $15 to spend for free. Awesome company, I'm telling you. And then this cute one at the pond, this cute froggy, he's $14. So um, those are called host rewards. Okay. And the second thing, so that's the one thing I wanted to tell you about. The second one is we are having a joining special along with our sale. So if you wanted to be a part of the Stampin' Up! community, not just a customer, but you wanted to participate with the all of the demonstrators online and then also with my team, Reese's Paper Pieces, um, they're giving away this mini Cut and emboss machine. Holy cow. I can't believe it. And you can get it in white or in the new in color boho blue that will be coming out in May. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what those new in colors are. Boho blue is just beautiful. It's a, it's a soft, dusty blue, kind of, um, kind of a country blue. It's just beautiful. Anyways, uh, you can see a picture of that in the catalog. Let me show you. Let's see. Where's that? That's on this page it's in the back. Oh, also, if you order $300 in items, uh, you get this free automatically. You don't have to do anything. Here it is. Here's the Boho Blue Mini uh, Cut and Emboss Machine. Isn't that a gorgeous color? So that is free when you sign up. And you can be on my awesome team. We do lots of fun stuff. We do mystery stamping once a month at our team Zoom meeting. We um, have challenges on our Facebook group. We have a private Facebook group. Um, I always email. I do a, a business, uh, not a business email, but like an up to date email and uh, Facebook live every Tuesday. So I let you know what's going on, what you want to pay attention to. And I love my not just my demonstrators who want to run a business, but my demonstrators who just want to shop for themselves. We call them discount shoppers. So um, you do not have to have, you don't have to have a business to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You can be what we call a hobbyist. So you're just shopping for yourself. And 80% of Stampin' Up! demonstrators are just hobbyists. They just shop for themselves. They don't have a business. They don't do classes. They don't have a YouTube channel. They don't do anything like that. They just have fun. And, um, but they get the discount. So as a demonstrator, we all get 20% off of our items. Um, when you advance in the company, you uh, get more sales, you get 25% off, but always. So as a demonstrator, you get free product you get discounts, you get all kinds of stuff. So it's really a great um, thing, especially if you're trying to save money um, to sign up. And we're doing that for January and February right now. Okay. Um, I cut up my owls. Woohoo! We're done. Let's get all this out of the way so we can put our card together. That was lots of talking. <laughs> Let me check out my comments real quick. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth says she can't seem to make her pencils dark enough for me. Um, Elizabeth, I do have a trick. I'm going to show you that real quick. Let me get this blender pen. Where's my blender? Here's my blender pen. If you've not seen the Stampin' Up! blender pens, and then you take your colored pencil, and this is how you get it dark. You go like this. You take this blender pen, and you actually get the color on there, okay, like that. And then let me grab that scrap that I threw down there. And then it's really a darker color. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So that is how you can get the colored pencils darker is by using this blender pen like that. And then I need to rub all. And then your blender pen, you want to make sure you rub all the color of it off before you put it away because you don't want to accidentally put brown on your next project. All right. That was a real quick tip. I love giving you all tips. That's what I'm here for. Here's our card back. Here's our precious wee little owls. Now, where I got this idea from, let me open back up the catalog here. Here we go. See how they have the two little owls flying like that? 
So I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. But then I'm going to take the phrases from the other, from the uh, floral stamp set. So let me get these on here. I need some dimensionals. All right. Three and four. Okay. So um, they've actually got this one in the front. We'll put this here. I don't know why I'm putting that on there. Oh, well. Okay, so we have this cutie pie. Oh my gosh, I love these owls. These owls are just not the cutest. I just can't get over it. And um, they're just adults and children. Oh my gosh, I love these owls. So I would not be surprised if these owls don't go out. Uh, they sell out early. Um, so if you really like these owls, don't put it off. You need to get them right now. Um, they're just kind of touching wings. All right, there we go. So that's that part. Now... Um, the sentiments. So the sentiments come from the country bouquet. So this goes with the, the sweet, the country paper that I'm using. And I'm using, I love that we are friends. And the first one is just wanted to say. So let me get some white scrap paper out. Okay, where did I put that? And I have tons of white scrap paper. All right, there we go. Come here. Okay. And also I am using something I haven't used in a long time. And that is Waves of Inspiration. There is a die that cuts out, um, you know, for a banner, but it has holes that you can run ribbon through. So I'm using that. All right. So here is my thing. And I'm just going to use black. I'm being boring. Oh, I need to put the lid on here. How are we doing, you guys? How are we doing? Yes, it is a great fold. I can't believe it. Like I said, Lisa Curcio, if you all follow her, she's this is where I got it from. Um, hers was really cute, too. She used the sweet, uh, sweet um, citrus, sweet citrus for hers. All right, so there we go. That. Now, because I was talking so much about the mini boho, cutting machine. And no, I don't have it in Boho. I do have it. I brought it out and I'm going to zoom out so you all can see better. I don't want you to see my tummy. <laughs> and then this is just going to go on there like that. And then I'm going to use washi tape because I do not want it to move. When you have a, a piece that you don't want it to move because it's like you need it to line up correctly, then now when you use this mini emboss machine, a lot of people were having troubles at first, and then we all figured out what to do. It's called staggering your plates. So um, let me pull this up. See how the plates are not all lined up at the top here? They're staggered. They're like layered um, at it off of each other so that one plate goes in at a time, and then it just goes in. See? Isn't that easy? Yay! I just love this. And it's so fun to have a little machine on your table. Now it is a extra thing. You if if you do not have any cut and emboss machine, you'll want the larger one first because this only cuts out it it's only three inches wide. So it can only do things three inches wide. It can do things longer, but only wide. So if you have um like folders and stuff that you that are bigger than three inches. You'll need the bigger cut and emboss machine. This is just a fun extra thing to have. But it's nice when um, you do just have one little thing you want to cut out and you don't want to get out your big machine and everything. All right, where's my thing? Here we go. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to put this here. But now this is Sweet Sorbet and it's one of our new in colors. And we have this glittery ribbon. Oh my gosh, I love. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape that on the back. And I'm going to give myself enough to thread through there. Okay. And then come up here. And come here. There we go. That's why I love this die. It kind of makes putting the ribbon on a little easier. And I don't need that much ribbon out. Okay, that's probably enough. And then I'm going to tie that. All right, so let me trim this. It's easier to trim. And also I need to attach this down um, so it doesn't move around while I'm trying to tie it. So I'm going to get two dimensionals real quick. Whoops, come here. Now I want to make sure that my ribbon is all where I want it. Okay, right, right there. That looks good. Okay, 
So flatten that out. Oops, come here, ribbon. So this is going to hold that ribbon in place and also give it some dimension. There we go. And then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to center it. Just Actually, I'm going to put it off to the side a little because I want my bow to have some room. There we go. Just wanted to say, and just take this. And of course, I will need another hand to hold that for me. So I have my clamp and tweezers. I love my clamp and tweezers. There we go. And just put that there and that there. Ooh, I cannot even get that. Where is where are my regular tweezers? There we go. <laughs> awesome. And then take that out and tighten that. And then just kind of pull the loops a little shorter. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's upside down, but that's all right. What I do when my bow turns upside down like that, I just take the tails and I take the loops and I pull them in opposite in the direction I want them to fall. And see, that works. Okay. And just trim that off. And trim that off. Love that. Okay, so far, how much we've decorated. We have just a little bit more to go, and that's down here. And this is, I just wanted to say, what did I just want to say? I wanted to say, I love that we are friends. <laughs> and there we go. And I'm putting that there. And then I also have some hearts in here that I can use. And here they are, these little hearts. Those go that way. And I think these go the other way. Nope. They go the same. Okay, no biggie. Do I have any other hearts on there? Just these big ones, but I didn't want to use those. All right. And then I have a little baby block. If you all don't have different size blocks, it's such a good investment because this is so little. If you put it on this big, gigantic block, you'll get ink everywhere. All right. And what do I need? I need my sweet sorbet. Forgot to grab that. There we go. I hope you all are enjoying this. Remember, if you do not have a catalog, please um, let me know. I can send you one. Oh, that turned out great. I love that. Let's put one over here also. There we go. Perfect. All done. Oh, no, I forgot bling. Oh, well, I'll put bling on it and then take a picture because <laughs> I've been with you all for 32 minutes. I try to make these short so you're not with me. Oh, there you go. Yes, ma'am, Carlos. It does fit in a regular size envelope. Let me grab that for you. Great question. All right. So you fold this up and look at there. Now, I have found it is easier when you have a bunch of layers and stuff to turn it upside down and put it in there. There you go. Fits in perfectly. Yay. Great question. All right. So that's a fun, fun trifold. And I hope you enjoyed it. This is the side of it. And I will have this on my blog with pictures and all of the measurements. Okay. Let me run back and put the blog site. There's the blog site. All measurements are on my blog. Remember, if you need a catalog, send me an email. I will send you a catalog. And you all have a blessed weekend. Cannot wait to see you Monday night. I've got more fun things out of our new catalog for you. And um, one more time, just double check, make sure I haven't missed any questions. Do, 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 do. Oh, Hildenel says, um, you still keep your stamps in the plastic, not in the case. Oh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, yeah, like this. Oh, right. I I just opened this, so I have it. Sometimes I take them off. I think this is what you're talking about, Hildenel, and stick the stamps on here. Um, like I said, I just opened this. So <laughs> um, yep, yep. No other questions. Not seeing anything. Okay, you all. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.